those who want to see know what trailer performance is going to be like on Recovery Mountain Roads. I think I'm the only one doing it. So I appreciate you watching. appreciate you supporting these weird tests. Good morning, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you for another full self-driving video. We are headed off to the lake today to do some kayaking. I have Onyx with me. We have a new contraption I made up to make a um, kind of a platform on the front of the kayak to see if Onyx could fit on there and give him some room to kind of walk around. Yeah, Onyx. Oh, sir. Oh, go stay. Went to that cove over there. Full tilt. He, every time he steps to the side, he steers the, the boat. This is hard pedaling. <laughs> See how that steers to the right to the left now? I'm having to steer constantly the opposite direction. Good job, Onyx. Um, and this is a route we have never actually done before, so this is kind of out of out of place. We are um, going on back country roads if you will so I made a video very early on coming the other direction coming this the other way and um you know back country roads if you will and um but that was also without the trailer and we're just kind of seeing how it does on this road just to give you an idea on the map this is the curviest section and yeah <laughs> the fact that I haven't done this with the trailer or with full self driving before normally when I drive drive down this go to the waterfall right here um, I'm manually driving because it's fun <laughs> this is uh Especially going down the mountain, you know, you're having to having to break the trailer. Doesn't like going around this curve. But this is the type of route I was talking yesterday uh, on the Crazy Hill test. That you know, if if I could, um, you know, have this trailer. I have a rack on it that can hold a bunch of kayaks. You know, I could probably get like, between my roof rack and this, probably get like seven kayaks. You know, I would probably only use the trailer because it would just take too long to mount a kayak on the roof. But, um, or maybe I could get one up there. Anyways, but you know, I could have a family, family of four, family of five, a kayak for each person and all autonomously drive down to the river and I could come pick them up at the very end. I could just do that all day long. Oh, I need to stop right here. I think I have, my board is hanging off. All right, I had to strap down a board that was hanging off the side. So, that was, uh, see that, that's something you know, think about that. If you have a self-driving car, truck, towing something, 
without a human, the human notices, you know, humans around will notice that something is off in the back that, you know, obviously right now until Optimus can, can strap stuff down, you know, a human's gonna know, hey, something's not quite right with my load, I should probably stop it, you know, strap it down. What's an autonomous truck gonna do? You know, just, what, is it gonna rely on, it's, it's not gonna really know. I also wonder if my car is using like a bunch of brakes right now versus um, using the region. Because it doesn't seem like it's using much region. They have a trailer, you know, pushing me from behind. Seems like it would, um, I mean, we are only going 26 mile an hour, but still, you would think we would um, need a little bit more region. for a lot of people. Cars randomly pulling in and out. We are pretty early this morning. Super steep turn. Yeah, right here. Yeah. It's fun going back up. There's a lot of people, there's a um, sign way up the road that says no turnaround for tractor trailers and like RVs and stuff. And this is why. This is spot right here. And once you're past this, basically it's, it's you know, flat. Flat as the mountains get. Um, because we've just gone down the mountain like a thousand feet. And, um, then it's more of a backcountry curvy road than it is like a mountainous curvy road like this is. But, I, I, I do remember actually I went down this one time, it was in the rain though. One time full self driving two years ago or so. Long time ago. But, um, it did not do well. I think I ended up driving myself. This is doing, is it perfect? No, but this is doing quite well. I'm pretty happy with, like, the fact that I didn't have to take over there on those super steep, windy hairpin turns with a trailer attached. And I wanted, I was very close, I was close to taking over. Because I, it's really, I don't, the car's using too much brakes not enough regen. It should be using more regen, in my opinion. And it just seems to not be. Normally, it's that thing. On this type of road, if I had this trailer, I'd probably just drive myself. Um, but, for testing purposes, for making a video, we are letting the car drive. And, I mean, I think it's doing pretty well, considering. So, I just... For those who want to see, you know, what trailer performance is going to be like on Covery Mountain Roads, I think I'm the only one doing it. So I appreciate you watching. appreciate you supporting these weird tests. It's interesting, for sure, that the car can even do this. made it to something more interesting. A turn. Made it to a turn. Uh, we're doing good. Right, they just paved, paved this road not too long ago. Yeah, 
it's starting to get a little bit queasy. Hopefully Onyx is doing okay back there. But, um... Yeah. Um, feels, <laughs> feels super smooth on this road now. Everything looks good on the back of the trailer that I can tell. It's kind of, kind of sucks not having, you know, if you're higher up, then maybe you could see above the kayak, but the kayak kind of blocks everything. I think, um, yeah, here's the church. So, basically, this, from this church onward, um, the video, we would normally have taken a left to go back up the crazy hill test right there. Um, but straight right here is, um, the same route we took, um, if you look at the crazy hill test with one of the trailers, you know, with the kayak, then you'll see this exact section here. It seems to be doing better, uh, if I remember correctly. I think it was going too fast the previous time. I think? Maybe? I Actually, I, I, it's hard for me to remember. Because I don't do this route very often. This is only the second time I've ever come down here with the trailer. The third time I come down here, I had the kayak on the roof. But I think it's doing fine. Like, for, for having the trailer right there, it should be going a little bit slower. This is also a place... Yep, see how it kind of rode the yellow line right there? That's... As a human, I would do that. I would kind of cross over the yellow line, knowing the car is not oncoming. Then I would just... Just to make it easier on the passengers me being the passenger right now in Onyx, then, um, you know, cut it a little bit short, because taking these curves at face value, you know, yeah, I can feel myself getting, you know, a little bit sick. Um, I, I get car sick on curvy roads. Every time, you know, where Gatlinburg, Tennessee is, going up and over the mountains, every single time we would go there as a kid, every single time, I would get sick in the car. Probably because I wasn't looking forward to going down the road. Motion sickness. Yeah. But this is also a road. If, I, if full self-driving shuttle service happens, the bridge we just crossed, you would go under that bridge for the Lazy River. That's the Green River. And you would end up at the lake I'm going to right now. So you would pick people up at the lake and bring them back, back to their car. Well, actually, probably what they would do, actually, is... They would park their car here at the lake, um, or wherever, you know, they'd bring their kayaks, and then I would shuttle them up to the start of the river, and they would kayak all the way back. That'd be a cool little side gig to do one day, if I have a RoboTaxi Cybertruck. Cybertruck would make it easy, because then you could just put a couple kayaks in the back of the truck, you wouldn't even need a trailer. In which case, it could probably work just fine. Now, I think... As long as it doesn't need the rear camera, because you would need the tailgate down. Let's see, is it gonna... Is it gonna turn in right here? Or is it just gonna stop? Because the point ends right there. Notice. 24 hour video recording, okay. Hey, look there. Got a lot of people today. Okay, um, well I think Actually, what I'm going to do is just, this is, well, maybe I'll record the, the part going up with the Curry Mountain Road. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, and I'll bring you back. Okay, everyone, we are on our way back home. Started the drive just a little bit, and I stopped right here to reposition the kayak because that box was about to blow away. But, um... Go ahead and let full self driving go. We have. Once we get to the top of the mountain, I'll go ahead and stop it. But, um, yeah, I think full self driving's been doing well. Um, yeah, as you saw, I put some video clips of what I did with Onyx. It's just kind of a prototype. And um, I think it worked pretty well, considering. Uh, it's a pain in the butt to. Uh, set up and um, take down, but hey, it, um, considering it worked pretty decently, gave Onyx a place to stay. Only thing I need to do now is add a, um, need to add some 
carpet squares to it, so it's not white. Because if you don't have sunglasses on, it is bright. It reflects all the sun back at you. So, need to, need to make sure I get that done. One thing that's interesting is because I speed limit is now 40, which I think is the actual speed limit for this road, 40, 45, probably 40 in this section because of how curvy it is, that the speed limit before said 20, 25 because there's no speed limit sign. This is the super curvy section. because it is 25 it actually was a little bit more comfortable on this road because look it's crossing the road because it wants to go 40 it doesn't actually do a very good job and this car in front of me passed me a while right before I started on recording so since it full self driving is driving faster than they are on this road I'm towing a trailer and I'm going faster than they are. So much electric power. <laughs> towing a trailer, hands free, going up a curvy steep mountain, and I'm still faster than human pilot in a gas car. Disengage just in case because it was going a little bit too fast to go down this curve in case there's a cyclist around the curve Just being safe so it didn't need the disengagement I'm just being safe because this is really what it well Let's use it for training data because it really needed that if there is a cyclist around that curve then Yeah, it'd be an issue You'd have to jam on the brakes especially with a trailer. You don't want to do that and right up here we have a um, um, bunch of people parked, potentially kids and dogs walking around. Okay everyone, we are basically to the top of the mountain. Uh, just overall thoughts on these Curvy Mountain backcountry roads. Um, the really trailer doesn't seem to affect it any. Now I haven't driven around town with the trailer yet, but um, it, it does pretty dang well, considering going around all these curbs. I mean, I guess we're not at the top yet, but we can talk a little bit. Yeah, see, I mean, this is like a very sharp um, hairpin tur curve. I mean, it's going a little bit slow, if we're gonna be honest right now. That's really the only one that's been rather slow on everything obviously everything else is pretty much sped up but um most of those uh most of the turns are like kind of you no know, if i wanted to drive safe and comfortable for a passenger that's how i would drive i wouldn't drive i would be even with the trailer i would be driving faster than this myself uh, just to have a little bit of fun but without the trailer i've driven way faster than this but it's just just to have some fun yeah, otherwise, um, I think I'll time lapse the rest, last bit of this, and hope to see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you, appreciate you watching. Bye.